In this video, I'll be showing you how to add back custom music to your Float Escape maps as per the new Float Escape 2 community maps update. Now, disclaimer, before we start the tutorial, this only works for PC players. So, console and mobile, I'm sorry, but this won't work for you. So now that I've gotten that out of the way, let's get into the tutorial. Now, the new Float Escape 2 community maps update, Crazy Blocks has created a website called fe2.io. Now, what this website does is if you keep it open, audio will play through this website instead of through the game itself. Now, on to how we actually do this. So here I am in my map, Beach City, and right now, I have the old background music. Now, as we can see, this is a number value. We don't want to use number values anymore. Now, let's find a string value. Oh, let me do it right here. So we put in a string value. Now, this is the sinking ship original soundtrack. So I'm going to copy this into here. And we're going to delete the old background music number value. Now we will rename this new string value to BGM, just like before. So now, here is where the new part gets in. So, this ID right here means that when I load into the map, it will play Sinking Ship, which is not the soundtrack which I originally had for this map. But after the Roblox audio update, it is no longer possible to play any audios you want. So Crazy Blocks has added a feature to where you can keep this audio that will play in-game. And now we just want to type in underscore to separate this ID from what we're about to type in. Now, this part may be a little tricky for some people, so just bear with me. The easiest way I found to do this is to upload your audio to Discord. So we will just go here, upload file, and boom. Now the audio file will upload, and here it is. So let's right click on the text and click copy link. Now that we've done that, we return to Roblox Studio and after the underscore, we paste in the link we just copied and hit enter. Now, all you need to do is publish your model to Roblox like normal. Now we actually have two different community map games. As you can see, this is the old Flood Escape 2 community maps. It's called FE2 CM 2022. This version of Flood Escape 2 is phased out. This will no longer be used. This is the new version, Flood Escape 2 Community Maps Auto. The name comes from the auto whitelist which has now been added, where you can automatically whitelist your maps. If you want your map to be whitelisted in this game, in Flood Escape Community Maps Auto, you need to submit it through this auto whitelist, which is very easy. It is much easier than the old system. So all we have to do is join this game. Once we join the game, we will see here to enter the model number. Now you will have to set your model to public for a little bit, just so this can work. But remember to quickly set it off public so that your maps do not get stolen. Now I already have my map whitelisted, so I don't need to do this part of the process, but this is important. So typing your model number here, I'll just type that in. That will immediately whitelist it into the game once you click whitelist model. Now we can close this out. So before you load into community maps, go to fe2.io. This is the website that I was speaking of earlier. Type in your Roblox username. Mine is obviously fancycat345 and click connect. Now the website is waiting for you to join Flood Escape 2 community maps. Now, 
We are in Floatscape 2 Community Maps Auto. You can tell that this is auto versus the old because Crazy Blocks has returned it back to the classic gray color. So now we go down here and we load in our ID. Now that the ID is loaded in, let's close this, tap on the arrow, go to options and disable music. If you do not do this, it will play the music in game, the incorrect music. So in this case, it would start playing the sinking ship music, which we don't want because we want our own music. So let's turn that off and exit. Now let's get into the lift. And as we load in, there you go. No editing tricks here. This is playing from my computer. And that is how you get custom soundtracks back into community maps. Let's reset. Now I have to mention, once you die, the music will continue playing. But since the website is actually connected to your server, watch this. Let's load back in. And see what happens. That's right, the song replays again. And this also works for other maps too. I have another one of my maps here. Let's load in. And boom, it starts playing this song. And that is the end of the tutorial. Have fun updating all your maps to include custom soundtracks once again. Thank you to Crazy Blocks for making this update possible. And I'll see you all in the next one.